I would hope what people will see that sitting alongside the police dramas that we all love, a representation of how a real crime was really solved. Right from the word go was, was very aware of, of, of the responsibility. The names of these victims are triggers for the, for the print press and, uh, and I suppose that's etched them in people's memories. You know, we were telling Colin's story, who's the policeman who solved them, who, who caught it. So we were telling it with, based on his memoirs and with him in cooperation with us. So we sort of felt that was the start of us being responsible. But my wife, who produced it, has been in touch with all the families of, um, of, of the victims to say, do you have any objections? What are your worries? What are your concerns? And we've taken all of those on board. And now that it's finished, um, they've seen it and are happy, if that's the right word. It helped, actually. It helped with that sense of responsibility because you felt if we're being truthful, then we're being responsible. We're not manufacturing or um, fetishizing any of it. I hung out with him, um, I spent time with people he knew, with um, uh, Joe Brunt who's in, in the, the, the programmes, played by Katie Lyons, um, is a terrific woman and we spent time with her away from Colin and with Colin to see how they interacted and also just to see her views on Colin away from him. Uh, and also spent time with the um, Hampshire Serious Crime Squad who were working on a, a murder down there just to see the effects of rank on, on people. Completely, I had no idea, because television would have us believe it's a, it's a lone cop wandering around saying, I must solve this crime. Whereas actually it's a massive team, some civilians, some police, but all feeding back to the one point, which is the senior investigating officer. There's people taking phone calls, there's people going through statements, there's people going through CCTV, people looking at maps, people looking at vehicle registration numbers, all of that, and all that gets fed through the senior investigative officer. And in Hampshire, I never saw that man put his book down, his incident book, everything, everything. He didn't stop writing. Da, 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 da. And they, it's because they need to amass enough to put it to the Crown Prosecution Service. And then the Crown Prosecution says, Service says, yes, you've got a chance in court, or no, you haven't got this, you haven't done this, you haven't done this. So that's a big thing. Just, just constant reminders of that responsibility and that sort of chill that this is where this happened and this is where so-and-so lived or when these were the neighbours. You know, we met his neighbor, people's neighbours you know, while we were out there filming because we asked if anybody objected to us, if, if anyone had any strong objections to us, to us filming there. The thing is, the reality is, it is dogged, dogged, whizzing through, spooling through CCTV. That's how it, that's kind of how it happened. It, I don't think, I mean, maybe it does happen you know, with a lone detective wandering through a park going, <laughs> I've got it, or visualising a text message next to his head. It, it sort of doesn't happen like that, it's a collective thing. Hi, I'm Martin Clunes, I play DCI Colin Sutton in Manhunt. Watch it now on STV Player. <laughs>